it's amazing how time flies. It was a little over 20 years ago, I was out in Germany driving the third generation BMW 7 Series. Well, now I'm in Monticello at the Motorsports Club, driving the sixth generation. Now this version is lighter, got more technology and more luxury. As well as adopting a whole new light makes might philosophy, this new 7 Series brings a boatload of technology, up to and including a new iDrive system that has, at long last, a touch sensitive screen and if you've got a knowing finger, you wave it in front of the screen and Bob's your uncle. You can turn the radio up, turn it down, accept a call, dismiss a call, you name it. And it really does come together very nicely. It's a huge advantage and about time that BMW got over its dislike for touch sensitive screens. One of the other key upgrades to this new 7 Series is the fact that it's now lighter. 86 kilograms compared to the outgoing car. Now all of that weight loss is down to the way the body is constructed. It's made of high strength steel, aluminum and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. The whole lot comes together so well, this car actually feels much lighter on its tires than the size would suggest. Now this car also comes with BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. Out on the track it saw this car pull out of a corner with much more authority. It really is a very tied together powertrain. The latest 7 Series takes some significant steps forward. The onboard technology is dizzying, the cabin is luxurious and the upgrades to iDrive are both welcome and long overdue. However, it's the over the road comportment that is the defining improvement. It's part city car and part track demon. The two come together so well, you end up with basically two cars for the price of one. It is a much better car than the outgoing model and it was no slouch in its own right. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca.